Everybody has a cell phone these days. Except a Minecraft. I thought this game was realistic. So today, I'm gonna collect thousands of blocks and build the world's biggest smartphone, which will contain fully functional Minecraft-themed apps. All in Minecraft hardcore. All right, where are we gonna build this giant thing? Perhaps somewhere around here? Yeah, why not? So I began terraforming a nice big area for us to build upon. Oh, are you excited to get an iPhone? Well, you're not getting one. It's for me. Okay, this should be big enough, I hope. Now let's take out some grass and put this thing to the test. And... Oh my gosh, look at the size of it. Well, it looks like a phone, which is really cool, but I did not realize how tall it was actually gonna be. Oh, uh, this might be a really painful episode. But okay, let's go make ourselves a Minecraft phone. So if I was gonna pull this build off, I had to figure out all the small things that make up an iPhone. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Adventure time! So I hopped in my car and headed down to the nearby Apple store so I could study every single single phone they have. Well, I may be banned from Apple for touching too many phones, whatever that means, but I think we're ready to build this bad boy. Whee! Okay, so the first thing we need to build is the phone case. And for the color, we're gonna keep it nice and simple and use gray terracotta. The perfect phone block. Wait, that's cyan terracotta. Well, that kind of complicates things. We're fine. We're just gonna need some cacti, some lapis, and of course, a whole bunch of terracotta. And as I collect all this terracotta, please subscribe and hit the bell. Well, that took longer than I expected, but okay, let's bring the terracotta across the bottom, raise up the sides, and I also grabbed some gray wool that we can mix in for a little bit of color variation. Let's do this thing. All right, I might need to get a bed first. Stupid mobs. I'll be taking this. All right, back to work. Day 43 of placing blocks. I can no longer feel my fingers. Now we just tear down this dirt outline. And wow, that is big. I still feel like it's missing something though. <gasps> I got it. What's the one thing that every single iPhone has on the back? Big Apple. Yeah. And to finish off the phone case, I built some volume buttons on the side and the iconic cameras on the back. Whoa, this looks really weird from the front. But all right, now it's time to move on to the front of the phone, AKA the fun part. So our plan for the front is to build a giant glass screen. And later on, that's where I'll be building all my Minecraft apps. But before all of that, we're gonna need a bunch of quartz and probably some XP for my pickaxe. Much better. Back to getting quartz. You see, most phones have this weird space at the top and bottom of the front. I don't really know what it's used for, but it is my duty as a Minecraft YouTuber to build an accurate phone. So I'm doing it. I don't like this place. But okay, let's fly down here and let's take our quartz and just bring these across like this. Yeah, that's not bad. Now we're just gonna make a thin little strip here that will connect to the top part. Ah! Mm. That was so avoidable. Oh, my last totem. Gotta be careful today. Looking good, looking good. And for the cherry on top, one big old power button in the middle. Do phones even have those buttons anymore? I don't know, but I also don't care. This thing looks awesome. Now all I gotta do is put a little border around the quartz part so the phone isn't so hollow. Also, hello, Mr. Zombie. Let's try to find a block that isn't a pain to collect. Perhaps obsidian? Bro, what are you talking? about, man. No, I'm not even joking. I have so much of it. Shout out to all those days of me mining end towers. It's finally paying off. I wonder what would happen if Please, 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 please. Yes! <laughs> Come on. Oh, I want a giant nether portal. Well, I'm kind of sad now. But putting my sadness aside, it's officially time for us to start working on the screen. And after doing some testing off camera, I've concluded that the best block for a phone screen is black glass. But the question that everyone's asking is, do I have any black glass? I have 
two blocks. That's not gonna get it done. But that doesn't matter because down here below my rocket ship, I have an infinite sand farm. I just break these, put these right here, and I flick the lever and look at the infinite sand get flushed into the portal. Boy, do I love being lazy. Now we just smelt it all up and dye it all black. I thought I had black dye already. It's actually impressive how unprepared I always am. Hi, sorry, it's not personal. I'm sorry, so sorry, immensely sorry. Oh, you're doing it for me. Okay. But all right, let's build ourselves a giant glass screen. Oh, you can see right through it. I guess that's how glass is supposed to work. But we're gonna need something to cover the back of that because that just looks stupid. Okay, what block should we use for our phone background? Ooh, I'm not just saying it because I have a lot of it, but light blue wool looks pretty darn good. Let's give it a try. <laughs> What the heck is going on right now? Oh my gosh, another one! Why are there so many spiders climbing up my phone? I'm so confused right now. So much better. Farzi approves. Now, if our goal today was to make a phone that doesn't work, we are all done. But me and you both know that we're not stopping until we have a working phone. So it's time to bring this bad boy to life. But first, we're gonna need a lot of scaffolding. This phone is really big. Ah, isn't that just gorgeous. All right, so let's fly down here and let's start building up. Wait, what? How do you build up with this stuff? Oh, I, I get it. I, I get it. What a stupid feature. It's so weird, man. And boom, perfect. Why can't I go this way anymore? Can I go this way? I don't understand scaffolding at all. Forget this, I'm sick of it. I'll just stick to my good old fashioned dirt pillars. So much more simple. So the first thing we did was build the stuff at the top of the phone, like the time, the battery, the cell service, and the front camera. And of course, I was super humble about it. Oh my gosh, how is one man so good at Minecraft? Like, look at that thing. Oh, I'm so proud of it. But ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the most exciting part of the entire video, which is making all the apps. This is gonna be so epic. So we're gonna be building 12 unique apps marked by these wool blocks. And just like in real life, every single app is gonna have a very specific function, like games, social media, or a lifestyle app, all in Minecraft. All right, so the first app I'll be making today is everyone's favorite social media platform, YouTube. They may pay my bills, but not bias. Awkward segue. Okay, so we're gonna start off by landing on this beautiful dirt platform. That was a sick landing. Kind of impossible, but I'll take it. And now we're gonna break down all this white wool and make a little bit of a room where the app is gonna go. Eh, I don't think this thing is big enough. Fine, we're going deeper. This is gonna look very, very strange. Ah, uh, ah, uh, you guys like it? It's definitely roomy. The back definitely looks a little strange, but with great apps comes great sacrifice. Oh, not this much sacrifice. Oh, let's get back to our YouTube app, shall we? So very simply, we're gonna take our red and white wool and YouTubeify the entire room. How hard would it be to make the YouTube logo? Probably not too hard, right? Come on. That is that is not the YouTube logo at all. <laughs> One second here. Yeah, that's how we do it. Absolutely perfecto. Now, you might be saying, Farzi, why is there one wall in the back that has nothing on it? And that, my friends, is where the magic happens. Oh, I'm all out. One second on the magic, please. Now for the magic. Behold a working YouTube app. Stacking this paper and mining these diamonds. My hardcore world is literally the finest. Minecraft YouTubers call me your highness. You wanna L build me? You nice. must be blinded. And just like that, app number one is complete. It's kind of stupid, but also kind of funny. On to the next one. But staying on the topic of social media, I decided to build Instagram, which contained a beautiful room full of gorgeous paintings and a few funny clips. <laughs> That's a funny clip right there. Oh, I'm so cringe. Then we made Twitter, which is basically a huge room filled up with a whole bunch of annoying parrots squawking their 
their silly opinions at me. Uh, Charlton, can you tell your friends to stop being so loud? I don't care about your opinions. And who is this guy? All right, I'm sick of social media. Why don't we move on to some games? Right after a little pit stop, I need some food. Thank you. It's game time. So the first game we'll be making will be called Creeper Survival. Last episode, I said if the video got 10,000 likes, I would trap 100 creepers in a room and try and survive. And you guys absolutely smashed it. So why not make a game out of it? What could possibly go wrong here? Okay, first up, we're gonna need a whole lot of dirt. Thank you. And we're also gonna need 100 name tags. All right, who's selling them? Bob, how about you? No. What about you? Nope. Wait, I know. Come on, where is the man? Hello there, mister. I know what you have. Give me all of it. Yes. And it's showtime. Okay, so we're gonna have to make a giant staircase to get the creepers up into the app room. Hopefully I brought enough dirt for this. All right, good. Now just to creeper proof all the walls. And here is our creeper arena. Now to fill this bad boy up with the subjects. I'll be back in a couple of hours. <sighs> Okay, here we are. Probably 100 creepers. And you do not want to know how stressful this was to do. All right, there's no going back now. It's time to play Can You Survive 100-ish Creepers? And the answer is... Oh, there's still more! Yes, the answer is yes! Charlton! No! Ow! Say it ain't so, he's gone! How did that even happen? It was supposed to be a fun, cheerful game, and now there's parrots in here somehow. I don't understand anything. My entire day is ruined now. But that being said, if this video gets 10,000 likes, I will travel down to an ancient city and try and survive there with absolutely no items. And that includes no totem either. Oh, wait. I probably need to refill my creeper game. I mean, no one's gonna beat my high score, but I'll just get a couple of these guys. The app still has to work in Charlton's honor. Nope, not again, not again, not again, not again. I'm just gonna back away from you guys. See you later. But continuing on, another great game idea I had was Snowball Throw. And as you can probably expect, we collected snowballs, which would be used to throw at target blocks scattered around this wintry themed room. And the only way to win the game is to hit every single target. Okay, well, I can definitely hit the targets with snowballs, but what about arrows? Boom, boom, boom. All bullseyes. Eh. <sighs> On. And for our last game, we're gonna build probably the greatest game ever made. Minecraft! But like the pocket edition on your phone. Let's do it! So the only way to build Minecraft in Minecraft is to take blocks and build Minecraft in, in Minecraft. You know what I mean. So let's fly in here and place down some green concrete powder to kind of replicate grass. Then we're gonna take some brown concrete powder and make kind of like a normal Minecraft terrain. This being dirt, this being the grass on top. And finally, we're gonna use some light blue and some white for the skies and the clouds. And a few details later, we have this masterpiece. But something is still missing. And there's only one way to fix that. So I downloaded Minecraft Pocket Edition and began building something that I could recreate inside of my phone. And I would say I did a pretty good job. And there we have it. Minecraft Pocket Edition inside of Minecraft Java Edition. Oh, this house is horrid. I much prefer keyboard and mouse for my Minecraft experience. But okay, we are officially halfway done with our apps. But there's more to life than just games and social media. So it's time to build some lifestyle apps. And I have some sick ideas. First off, we collected a ton of different music discs and even built a disco room. Also, we could have our very own music app, which of course led to some patented farzy disco breaks. I then decided, me being a big strong man, that we needed a fitness app. So I built some workout machines, some vending machines for health 
health potions. And I even invited Minecraft's strongest villagers. Uh, fine, take them, take them all, take them all. Don't hurt me, please. They are so muscly. Gentlemen, welcome to your new home. Best idea ever. And last but not least, we're gonna be building a villager dating app. I'm gonna need you, and I'm gonna need you. Where, where are you? Where are you going? Stop moving so much. Jeez, stupid villagers. Nobody's gonna wanna date you. All right, cool, they're up here. Now we just gotta figure out how to make a villager breeder so we can have enough participants for our app. And lucky for you, I am a genius. I know what I'm doing. I need some grass, some crops, thank you, and a bunch of other random stuff. I hope we have enough space for this thing. I mean, we could expand the back out a little bit, but hopefully not. Why does the phone look like an Among Us character with a backpack on? Oh, I'm never gonna unsee that, am I? So, I kind of forgot you need farmer villagers. Just one little mistake today. Introducing Villager Matchmaker. What we have here is a state-of-the-art technology where villagers will breed up there, making more villagers which will come down here and swing around in this whirlpool I made. Then our lucky villager friend up here, who is single, will get to pick his favorite villager partner. Let's see this thing in action. Uh, maybe it has to be daytime? Come on, do the thing. I'll be back in a little bit. All right, that's what I'm talking about. We got a few selections. So, buddy, who do you want? Behind me? Hey, no, 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 no. He's not one of the options. Go back up to your app. Or maybe I'll just, I'll just be quiet. Okay, 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 okay. He can do whatever he wants. Now, to be totally honest, at this point in the video, I just wanted to get the apps over with. I've been working on this phone for almost two weeks. But that being said, I was determined to finish this amazing build, so off I went for the final three apps. I built a food delivery app called Moober Eats. Mr. Moober, how are things looking here? I'll take that as a good. Followed up by an amazing calculator app featuring our best friend, Broderick. I promise you guys, you can ask him anything and he will not get it wrong. Broderick, what's one plus one? Is it two or... He, he already knew. Five times five, 25 or 797. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Think, think, think. I think he's busy doing theories and working on his chalkboard. He knew the answer. He's just a busy guy. You know how they are. Scientists, am I right? But okay, guys, we can officially say our phone is complete. Oh, wait, I forgot one. I think this phone needs an option for dark mode. And there's only one way to do that. Uh, uh, on second thought, I'm gonna get out of here. Why don't we just use this thing instead? Light mode and dark mode. Much less deadly. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff. I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.